today I'm going to be doing a short video, hopefully short, on the um, Reno Air Races and the uh, Sim Update 6 version of the F-15. Well, it's not it's the same version as uh, the one that was previously released. I mean, there's, nothing's changed. What I'm trying to say is that I want to see if uh, how it looks, the details and all that, if anything has changed since um, Sim Update 6. So... This is just going to be a short video on my thoughts about the air races, which are my, my, a short video on my thoughts on the air races and all that, because I did do I did test them out, and I was unable to capture footage. I mean, I'm sure there's some way that you could indeed capture footage if you really wanted to, but it's got your, uh, it's got my name placed all over it, which, you know, you really can't see any, you know, it's just not, not appropriate footage to catch, but... <laughs> So I just wanted to give my thoughts on it and all that. I'll get that'll be through the first part. So you know, the second part will probably I'll, I'll leave a timestamp in the in the uh, description probably or in the comments stating when this is a uh, when it's over. But anyway, my thoughts on the air races are that uh, they're quite fun. I went up against four people. I placed first this first time, and the second time my game crashed. So. <laughs> I uh, I just gave it a break because you know I'm not really into races and all that at the moment but it needs some polishing besides that I flew the P-51 and the uh, I-39 um, let me check it in right it's right here I should have it the I-39 Albratos I flew those two planes and uh, quite frankly out of the two the P-51 was my favorite just simply because uh, I have a thing for older planes like that but um I think it'll be worth the initial money, but I'm not sure about, you know, the $60. I mean, the best, if the Reno Air Races will be free and the planes are the only thing you have to pay for, then that's the be the better way to go <clears throat> because uh, as it sits, I mean, it needs a lot of polishing. But besides that, it's quite fun. You go up against, you can go up against a lot of players. Uh, I went up against four, like I said. <laughs> And uh, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy my uh, time. I can. It's all the beta does go through all uh, the whole weekend. Uh, it ends on Sunday, I think. Sunday or Monday. It's a completely separate, different mode from Microsoft Flight Simulator. So don't expect to hop into the flight sim. You know, if you have it, and uh, expect to have the P-51 Mustang and all those other planes, because that's not how it works. It's a closed area. One, one part, one portion of Nevada. But uh, yeah, so. Um, I just wanted to, uh, showcase the F-15 here, really, uh, on Sim Update 6. Um, it says that there was improved graphics and a whole bunch of other things. So, we're going to get this bad boy in the air. And if you're not very familiar with DC Designs, they do make higher-end quality, uh, model planes. And, uh, if you haven't, if you've been on the fence about purchasing... The F-15 or F-14 Tomcat, I highly recommend that you do purchase them because they are they are fun planes. Most people I see online are not into military jets, and I think that that's just, you know, that's a shame because I myself personally fly every type of plane that the game offers. I just honestly prefer uh, military jets in general. But Other than that, we can give this plane a nice look. I can't do a direct comparison because I didn't have footage before before they uh, updated the sim, but this should be uh, 1,080, uh, 180, 1,080 uh, P in video quality, so you should get a good image and all that. And I currently am using uh, mouse and controller, so that's really fun. I, in my other video, I uh, recommended that you... Uh, you do invest in the uh, mouse and keyboard, but not so much the keyboard, but just the mouse, because it is it does help your experience with the buttons and stuff when it's not getting stuck on the screen like it did now. So I'm unable to move that, so I have to restart the whole game. So we're just going to turn that off. Just how the sim likes to treat its uh, dedicated players. <laughs> but we're going to fly around Tokyo right here a little bit and see if uh, any of the monuments and uh, buildings and all that have been updated. And we're gonna take this puppy out for a spin in Sim Update 6. So I gotta give it to DC Designs. They make high quality. Most people don't think they do, which I think is stupid because you know Azobo don't put out a whole bunch of planes, but you know third-party developers are essentially uh, is what's making this game 
drive right now and you know uh, the SC Designs has the F16 which will be coming out sometime before Christmas and sometime at the end of the month India Fox Techo will be putting out the F35 vertical takeoff and landing jet so if that's the meaning of that I'm not up to key on up to par on my definitions and whatnot but If you haven't, uh, if you've been on the fence about buying this plane, and I know there's plenty of reviews out there, so many people may not may not uh, see this, but if you're on the fence about buying it, I recommend it because uh, it's an overall good plane, beautiful plane, highly detailed inside and out. So I'm trying to remember how to turn on the mirrors. It's been a minute. I've been flying around the SU-57, which is another good plane. I did a review on that, so. People hate that plane, but I mean, hey, you can't. People are going to hate this, hate that. I personally think all the planes are uh, something special, so. I heard they updated the cloud animations and whatnot. I'm not 100% sure what they did inside the, uh, in the sim. I could sit there and read through all the patch notes, but. You ask me, the sim kind of runs a lot better now when it's not crashing. And it usually doesn't crash during gameplay, but it does crash when you uh, do start up in the airport. Or... I think that's right too. Nope, that's not it. Tokyo approach golf. Delta Charlie Alpha Echo 1900 feet. There they are. Anyway, uh, like DC Designs and SC Designs and India Fox Techo, these planes may be over $35, but they're highly detailed in my opinion. So if you have been on the fence about it, you know, I do recommend it. Where can you go wrong? Very fun, very fast. It gets you where you want to be. Most people look down at us for uh, buying jet planes because it's supposed to be a flight simulator and they always bring up, uh, DCS which is you know if you're on Xbox you don't have access to so personally I, I can't tell the difference unless the foliage is different but normally like I've got a hundred meg up and I'm not sure how much down but the photogrammetry on my end uh, is like really wonky unless you're uh unless you're on like one of these buildings right here that they specifically did you know put their time on there's somebody over there in the Spitfire the Spitfire is also a very very good plane to buy to old World War airplane not sure which World War it was I'll probably do another one of these with the uh, F-14 Tomcat A version. Not a big fan of the B version because some of the animations on the back are a little, you know, they like to clip through the uh, through the uh, vents and stuff like that. But Yeah, but with this bundle, you do get the F-14, you get three, I think, well, four F-15s. They're all essentially the same except for a couple of differences in the cockpit and the uh, F-15I, I think, which is uh, the one that the Americans gave to Israel. That, that has a different, has different uh, exhaust uh, vents in the back and whatnot. And really fairly well detailed, especially if you have like a... Uh, like me, I have a 4K TV, so if you got like a nice 4K television, you know, it's really, it's really, really fun to have uh, these big old screaming jet fighters, and especially with surround sound, if you do have surround sound, and if uh, I've seen a couple people that have the uh, flight sticks and all that, it's very, very good. I mean, I haven't got that far yet, but...
I also did talk to the developer today on the SU-57. He said that the update should hit the store today, but I'm not I'm not sure if that's 100% factual information, just simply because I think that they only release updates on Thursday, which would be the development update. I think the best time would have been yesterday, but I could be completely wrong. But hopefully... Uh, Hopefully we will see an update because the cockpit on the uh, SU-57 is indeed broken. And uh, that's one of my uh, go-to planes. But really, I mean, honestly, I cannot tell the difference on... Uh, between what it was before and maybe I'm just blind, I mean. I also have not seen an update from India Fox Techo today on the uh, F-35, but he said it should be done by the end of the month. And the end of the month is only 11 days away. So hoping for an update on that. Get a night going on here. Some, see if we can get the... Uh, I prefer to fly this plane normally at nighttime just because the afterburner looks so freaking cool. Wish it had better afterburner animations, but I mean, hey, for what you're paying for very much worth it. I honestly think this is top-notch development from those guys over at DC Designs. I wish they would release more planes. Even if they didn't put as much time and care into them, I still think they have a, they got a good name going for themselves. I'm probably going to do a, a, a review on the Hawk after this. I'm just trying to build my channel up bit by bit, you know. Maybe one day I'll, you know, be some type of big YouTuber. But, if you haven't invested in a mouse, I do recommend you get a mouse because it has actually changed my gameplay experience around 180 degrees when it's not getting stuck in the same spot. Like, it will not move from that spot. But that's unfortunate, but maybe I'm doing something wrong and maybe it's not the game, actually. I don't know. It does have full chocks and it does have... Um, all the good stuff to when you know if you want to take photos and stuff good thumbnails and whatnot you can you can do that I will do in a, a video on the hot T1 after this I'll do a more in-depth guide on how to start that and whatnot but most people have already seen the f-15 and i just doing this to showcase it on the World Update 6 because I heard there was a lot of changes implemented and I was uh, very excited to see. I know something's up with the, the back of it here. and I'm, that, that was not a part of the uh, sim before uh, Update 6. But. But besides that, I mean, hey, you been on the fence about picking this puppy up? Go for it. It's worth every penny, in my opinion. There's nothing else on the uh, Xbox console that you can get that comes close to anything DC Designs has made, unless you're a big India Fox Techo fan, which I am, preferably. But, you know, their new F-35 should be coming out sometime between now and, I would hopefully think, between the 6th of November. It's got to hit Just Flight and all them places first, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I would highly recommend this gym. Very nice.
Hope you